Fergus Kavanagh brought down Ian Mackay. This is Catlin. Alexander runs away from the circle, backwards to go forwards. Chance here for England. It's gone in. It's Ian Mackay. Yeah, really good work from England. I was just thinking how well they're playing this high tempo. Lovely sharp work here. Simple stuff. Ball moved off, and you watch when the ball comes in from Alexander. Mackay got low and strong and just did enough to get it under the keeper. Really good hockey and well worked by England. They're a quality outfit. I think they've been underestimated by some people here expecting Australia to turn this on, but so far they've been very competitive and they're happy to play at a high tempo. I think, I think what it tells you is these umpires have got a heck of a job. There's a lot of interpretation. Especially with the pace of the game. Schubert, Dixon got in his way, didn't obstruct him. Ockenden takes on Richard Smith, wins the free hit, runs straight at the England defenders, off the foot of Smith, Raised up into the air, penalty corner for Australia. First of the You'll game. You'll see when he first gets the ball off this free hit, he actually wobbles to the side, and that allows him to tuck that pass on a different angle, makes it harder to defend, leads to the error. Dorner went low, well stopped at the back by Fox. So that was well stopped here. In fact, I think you'll find Fox gets in front of the keeper, he does, and he gets a good angle there to make a, a terrific trap. Great ball from Dorner to find Turner. Orchard, Glenn Turner once again, the man from the ACT, onto the feet of Wilson. Oh, first oh, excellent. Yeah, we'll see here, Orchard dishes it off for Turner on the run. Look at this drag inside, little jink. Oh, Wilson was in trouble. <laughs> so, watch with interest. Dorner, they look for the deflection from Grant Schubert. And Schubert gets his fourth goal of the ABN AMRO Men's Hockey Champions Trophy here in Melbourne for 2009. Beautifully worked corner from the Australians, as slick as it can be. You'll see here, Dorner comes in, pushes it hard, very similar to the previous one, but this time they draw the guy off the post, and it's a beautiful connection from Schubert. It takes some timing to get it right. Yeah, very clever by the Australians. The previous one had been saved by Fox on the post. This time they drew him in. And then Schubert got to the right spot. Brent Dancer and Simon Orchard. Four of the young stars of this Kookaburra team. Knowles. But you see here, goal. lovely play from Orchard. Sharp work. Lovely tomahawk pass. And here's the rebound. Which just need to go higher. Just need to hit down on it. She tried and get it higher across the pads. Well done by Catlin to keep it in. And well done by Baisley, but he's conceded a penalty corner off a defender's foot. Well here to keep it in, didn't he? Tucked it back nicely, good running from Catlin. George Baisley did okay there, and then it just ran into the feet of uh, Begby. Inside five minutes to half time. Jackson went low. He had a lot of time. Came off Barry Nine. Middleton's stick. There they go, they're playing for the variation. See Middleton's stick. Goes to the deflection here. It's almost like Butterini missed the run out. He was a long way off the... Now this could actually see the hooter going during a piece of play, depending on whether they get it away cleanly. Or oh, they did! Oh, Jackson, that came from right behind him. It was a whip flick rather than a drag. And Baisley oh, got the save. Hit. Jackson, look, it's right behind him, and Baisley goes down went on by Middleton, but not dispossessed. Oh, great drag by Swan. That's skillful. So is that. Ockenden, Butterini, raised up into him, was it? No, penalty corner. Yeah, good play from Australia. All started with Matthew Swan out here. Slowly move into attack. Look at this one way, then the other, in a confined space. And then ran on the angle. Lovely little lead from Ockenden as he tucked it inside who threw it early, which allowed the corner to be worked, so... Butterini and a three-way variation that almost came off for Glenn Turner. It's hard to believe this missed, but totally uh, done. Tucked left of the first variation, and under the keeper's pad, Abbott there on the far post went under him as well. Gave him plenty of room there. 
there, that could actually have just been a little bit further in front of Glenn Turner to be better for him, better place for him. He just had to pull it from behind him. The, the idea would have been for that to have been on his four stick, just in front of his right knee. The young, oops, hook back. No harm done, Dancer was there. Just a bit untidy at the back, Australia there. John T. Clark, stick checked on the way through, will get the free hit. You can hear Rick Charlesworth. It's his voice in the effects microphones, you can hear. Yelling, bad luck, bad luck, keep it up, come on. Jackson. Middleton. Mark Knowles. Turner. Robbed by Condon. Butterini takes on Smith. Those long arms of Smith's. He did well. Saved him some embarrassment, I suspect. David Condon. John T. Clark. Thought about the early cross, went for a late cross. Should have gone with the early one. That man with the uh, very distinguished looking hair is Stephen Smith, the Australian Foreign Minister and uh, patron of Old Modernians Hockey Club in Perth and a former player with Eastern Blades, you'll be pleased to know. Very much a, much a hockey fan and uh, a great supporter of hockey in Australia and particularly in Western Australia. And I might make the point, he succeeded Australian coach Rick Charlesworth in the Federal Parliament in the seat of Perth. Their end of today's trivia lesson. <laughs> oh, wonderful to see him here. A great supporter of hockey, Stephen Smith. <laughs> Simon Orchard. The Dorner. Orchard oh. again. Oh. That's hit Eddie Ockenden, but come off an England stick. And so it's another penalty call. Steal here by Hammond. Ball flung by Orchard, gets the deflection up. Off Mantell into uh, Ockenden, dangerous play, leads to the corner. Liam the Young to push the ball in. Great save from Fair. Dorner's dragged, flick! And just over the top from Orchard. Early outlet, rebounded by the Australians. Schubert takes on Alistair Wilson. Wilson holds him up, but gives up the free hit. Now, was Wilson five metres away? The crowd didn't think so, did they? No, I think uh, by prasad has been tested here. And uh, you feel for him because the pace is so quick here from Dorner. So corner. Good push out this time from De Young. A good save there from Fair. And Middleton did well. through Turner on the reverse and finishes going for the appeal this will be interesting no back of the stick well that's what it's for well the player's reaction is generally pretty right the crowd don't like that one well, let's have a look at this see if it's really obvious let's see just how obvious it is does he roll the stick over oh yes he does Smith got himself into trouble, big time got himself into trouble. Again, good pressure here, this is the pressure from the Australians, you'll see Abbott steal the ball, get to his reverse. Not far away, Abbott, oh, off the post and oh, finished! Oh. This time, there won't be any appeal on that one, Australia take the lead with 11 minutes remaining. Oh, first class, Desi Abbott, he is the difference, he is special. Did really well here, bouncing ball, you'll see it just fall nicely, he leads, that's the important thing, he's moving, he makes things happen, gets the important touch here which hits the post and knocks it in just like he did at the Champions Trophy in Amsterdam last year. Got his own rebound, and as he, uh, basketballers are happy to do that. The defender Matthew Butterini does well to leap under the ball. <laughs> so Australia leading 2-1 now.